Okay, it's Miss D of Miss D Reads. Hey, welcome back. And now we are focusing on another book in the pop-up standout pop-up series. Ones that I, I found out the kids enjoyed. And even though this one was also part of the curriculum, they really did enjoy this book. It is called The Long Walk to Water. I know I might featured it before. It's by Slinda Sue Park. And the book is written in two different timelines. So it's written in um, 1985 as well as 2008, okay? But the thing about it is that because of the the, the two characters, Naya and Salva, eventually their, their paths begin to cross in terms of what they need to do in order to get this water. And so, of course, you know, this part of those... Um, the, what you've heard about with the, the Sudanese boys and how you had all that fighting and things happening in certain um, between certain tribes in Africa where you just had people scattering and they were just walking on foot to a refugees. So that was in um, Salva's situation. In Naya's situation, she was her in her tr tribe, her village. Water is truly it, one of the things that's lacking, and she has to walk miles and miles and miles away in order to get to drinkable water. And that water actually itself isn't that drinkable. And what it does is it, it denies her the opportunities to go to school and get an education. If you have to walk eight hours a day just to collect a little bit of water that may or may not be clean, you're not going to school. I, I think um, it, the kids related very well to it. They understood uh, a lot of the, the issues, which is the same social pressures. Do you go with, with these people or you hunt, look for your family? What matters more? All those things again. But also, I think um, the big key thing is empathy. Having the kids understand that you need to be, um, you're, you are blessed. Your, situ your situation in, in America blessed. You can go to a faucet and turn on some water and water come out, Okay. But um, in this situation, it's totally different. And, and then remember, they're crossing savannas and plains and they're concerned about lions eating them and be, being just, it's just, it's just rough. But the, the, the kids did relate to it. It's a very quick read. And please get, get yourself a copy. Have to have your children read it so they can truly learn about empathy. All right. So that's today's book, A Long Walk to Water. And guess what? I'll see you very soon with yet another book in the pop-up, pop-up, standout category that the kids liked. Bye.